Our first game was developed by Light Studio of Lambir and was first published in 2010. The object of this game is to get the crates while avoiding enemies from all sides. Easy, eh? Well, not really. The enemies keep coming from the top and you get no points for killing them. Yep, not at all. The game forces you to concentrate on gathering crates instead. To progress to the second level, you need to get 10 of those without dying, and as I never got to that point, I can say that it's not the most easy task to do. Picking up a crate changes your current weapon with no option to toggle between them. So often you'll be in a situation where your awesome rocket launcher is replaced by a dual pistol. Though no weapon is actually bad, there are some clearly better than the others. My personal favorite is the disc thrower, though I do tend to kill myself with it from time to time. Now, if you don't get any points for killing monsters, why would you even bother about them? Well, here is another interesting twist. If some monsters reach the bottom, they will respawn back from the top but angrier, which means they will move much much faster and kill you much much faster too. The first few times you will play Super Crate Box, you probably will not be able to get over 6 boxes before dying. But to avoid redundancy, the game counts a total of how many boxes you collected to unlock new features like additional weapons, and there are a lot of these, ranging from katanas to laser guns. The game does offer a few different levels, but the whole point of it are the leaderboards, which to tell the truth are pretty hard to get to. Now here is the best part, this game is absolutely free of charge. So if you have a Steam account, you can pick it up right now, which you should. But wait, there is still another game we need to look at first. Now the second game is even more weird. Half Minute Hero lives up to its title by giving you only 30 seconds to save the world from its upcoming destruction. The first time I heard about it, I saw that it would be some kind of a parody RPG, making you do everything like quests, upgrading and fighting in a very small time period. And I was right. On my first mission, I was sent by the king to battle an evil wizard that prepares a spell to destroy the kingdom in 30 seconds. To do this, I had to buy a new sword, a healing potion, visit the plains, a forest and the wizard's castle. The game does cheat a bit though, because early on you make friends with a goddess who introduces you to shrines that let you rewind them backwards and reset those 30 seconds. This not only doesn't spoil the game, but actually adds more fun to it. As you play, you will take the role of many heroes, all of which reference some popular games and stereotypes. What I really liked about Half Minute Hero was that it features two graphic modes. One is pixel style and the other is more cartoony. Personally, I prefer the second one, but the first option looks awesome too. As I don't use an Xbox controller, I found the menus to be somewhat frustrating at first, but the actual game controls are okay, as you need only a few buttons to play. This game is great for casual gamers, as you can progress a few levels in no time. Currently, it sells for $8 on Steam, and if you are an RPG fan, you should definitely get it. I hope you liked our first episode. With us next time for more Steam games.